ladies and gentlemen, The Drinkist. Hey everyone, you're watching The Drinkist. I'm your host Grant, and today we'll be looking at the last word. So sit tight as we prepare to wet our whistles on one of the cocktails the IBA felt necessary to categorize as unforgettable. First things first, let's take a look at the backstory of our protagonist. The last word comes to us from Detroit, Michigan, where the Detroit Athletic Club served this to members dating back to the days of Prohibition. The originator still offers this with authentic gin similar to what would have been provided to patrons at the time of the drink's inception, aka bathtub or what's now known as Old Tom Gin. In order to make your own last word, we'll need four ingredients. Gin, green chartreuse, maraschino liqueur, and lime juice. Combine these in a shaker with ice and strain into a cocktail glass. If you're using the IBA specified quantities, you'll need a vessel capable of containing 3 ounces, or 90 milliliters, plus dilution. Not an official garnish, but feel free to add a cherry when you make yours. Like most cocktails, this drink has the primary components of spirit, sweet, sour, and spice. Things to look for when you partake are juniper, cherry, lime, and various other herbal and vegetal notes. But how does it drink? The maraschino cuts the gin and green chartreuse in a way that makes it very easy for me to drink this without feeling like it was really missing anything. I would recommend trying this if you're up for a more unique experience due to the inclusion of green chartreuse. So on a scale from Frank Gallagher to Don Draper, how bougie is this booze? On the budget side, you're looking at about $3.19 to make this yourself. If you choose to go with a higher end gin and use fresh lime instead of lime juice, you're still only looking at about $4.65 to make it yourself. You'll want to check with your local bar to see if they carry the liqueurs needed for this drink before trying to order one somewhere, but expect to pay at least $10 if you go this route. And that's about it. The last word is a well-balanced cocktail with a decent amount of complexity, originating from Prohibition era Detroit. On the whole, I find it quite palatable, and anyone looking to broaden their horizons would do well adding this to their repertoire. If you want me to review one of your own favorite guilty pleasures, leave a comment. If you think a friend might appreciate this video, give it a share. If you enjoyed it yourself, give it a like. And if you find yourself watching more than one of these videos, consider subscribing so I can help introduce more like-minded adults to the wonderful world of spirits. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been The Drinkist. Cheers! Cheers.